when we're doing multi-scale web mapping or any th sort of multi-scale mapping, we should be aware of raster resolutions and how big the resulting images are going to be. So once again, raster is just a series of grid cells. Typically in GIS, we um, specify what the um, coordinate of the lower left grid cell is, and then the cell dimension, and then the raster grid is just built from there. So just a series of grid cells. And um, one thing to remember with these is that as we change the resolution, we also change the number of cells associated with it. So in this example here, we're seeing the same area in all three of these. The first one covers it with um, four cells, each of which are 100 meters by 100 meters. The thing to remember is if we cut that size in half and make 50 meter by 50 meter cells, we actually, for each one of the grid cells here, we get four new grid cells by cutting that number in half. So we go from four to four times four or 16 grid cells here. And if we cut that number in half again, then we would go to 16 times four or 64 grid cells in this case. So the size of the grid, how much room is taking up, the image size is going to vary by an, a factor of four every time this number, which is one, one dimension of these square grid cells, right, one side of the square grid cell, is changing. So let's take a look at what that actually looks like. So um, if, we have, um, if we have this aerial photograph, this black and white aerial photograph, it looks pretty good at a one meter resolution and not very good at all at an eight meter resolution. So um, how, does the, how does the size change? Well, here we have, um, we have 12 by 12 grid cells, each one of which is, uh, is eight meters. And that would, uh, 12 by 12 would be 144. So assuming each one of these is an eight bit or one bit of information or one byte of information, that would be a grid size of 144 bytes, less than one K, that's, that's very small. When we go to four meters, now this moves up to um, half of a kilobyte or a little over 576 bytes. And once we get to this two meter, which kind of looks good, but still a little bit fuzzy, we would have a uh, file that's 2.3 kilobytes large. Um, each time you can see that this is varying by a factor of four. So we've gone from about half a byte to a little over, um, I mean, half a kilobyte to a little over two kilobytes here. And then we go from 2.3 up to eight kilobytes here. But we need that resolution in this case to, to make this look good. So in this case, the resolution is very much worth it. Um, would we need, would we need a, a half a meter or a quarter meter? Maybe not. It just depends on how, what we're using this for. But remember, going to half a meter would once again double this grid cell, um, would double the size of the file. And of course, you know, this is just showing a small area. So if we were showing a very large area that, um, or a color image, that number would get much larger very quickly.